Hi guys, this is a long-term review of the Jetboil Zip. This is my Jetboil Zip. I've had this over five years now. This is how I keep it stored. I keep it stored in one of these Exped extra small dry bags. It just keeps it neat, it keeps it dry. It just keeps it all in one package where you know what it is. I also have cut this up, so any, anybody that uses British Army rations, you kind of get one of these clear plastic bags inside. I've just cut that up and I put all the jet boil parts inside there. It just helps stop getting any scratches inside of the jet boil. And if you're putting stuff, if you've used this on mud or, you know, slightly unhygienic surfaces, it keeps it in the bag rather than inside of your pot. Let's just do a little test boil. We'll fill this up with some water. So some of you may know in previous videos I talked about, I was in the British Army, only as a reservist, but I managed to do some quite good stuff, went to various places, did a few of a few non-shooting deployments, went to some pretty cool places, probably to this jet ball's been to at least 10 different countries. Uh, Oman, America, uh, Albania, Djibouti. It's been all over the world. So it's been a really great bit of kit. If you eat rations, especially like British Army stuff, which is uh, boiled in a bag, uh, it's so much easier with a jet boil. You can, so the jet ball zip is one of the smaller jet balls. I think it is about 0.8 liters, so less than one liter. You can generally get about two British Army rations in there if you stuff them up tight, which is great in the Army because it generally works like while you're cooking or while you're doing the rations, your oppo, your buddy who you'd be paired up with, does other things like, you know, get on top of equipment, drying stuff, cleaning the rifles, stuff like that. So you work in teams of two. So if you can get two uh, rations in there, then great. I guess most of you watching this video is probably not going to be for military purposes. But again, if you've got boil in the bag type foods, you can get it in there. It generally will boil enough water that if you've got dried food, you know, 0.8 liters will probably be enough that you can, you know, provide you enough water for whatever you want to do, really. It also comes with this uh, adapter. So when you don't have like the heat water heating vessel on, you can replace it with this. So you can put like a saucepan on there, a frying pan, other cooking implements. Now, one of the things with the Jetball Zip, the Jetball Zip is one of the cheaper jet boils. Um, it doesn't have a igniter. So that's why you need to have a lighter with you. I mean, the army, that's fine because when I basically did like some commando training, so I did the reserve forces commando course. Part of that is you always have like a lighter on you. You meant to have like two lighters taped together, kept in your pocket. But that's just one point to note that with a jet ball zip, it doesn't have its own igniter. So you can light it with anything, you know, flint and steel, you know, just a match, even a lighter that's empty. It only needs the spark to get going. But that's the jet ball zip. I liked it because it doesn't have the igniter. It's one less thing to go wrong. Well, it's boiling quite quickly today. Being indoors is obviously a bit warmer. Well, that's on the floor. But as I say, this jet ball, I've had this for years. Um, by looking after it, just keeping, just keeping it in the bag, keeping it in the, uh, with it, let's move it out of the way so I don't melt stuff. I've just made myself a lemon and ginger tea here. Basically, to, well, basically to summarize with the jet ball, I was a bit unsure at first when I first got it. Um, but it's been absolutely amazing for the price. These are about £60. I'll leave a link uh, in the description. I think Decathlon in the UK are actually cheapest at the moment. They're selling it for like £59.99. You can pick it up on eBay and Amazon for about £62, £63. It certainly is a great investment. Uh, if, you, if you're just hiking, hill walking, you just want water for dehydrated food, or you've got boil in the bag, you can even make your own boil in the bag food. So if you get things like this, something similar to a freezer bag, or food hygiene rated bag. You can take things like uh, tins of beans and food and stew, put them in these things, especially if it's like a Ziploc one, and then you can warm it up uh, inside the jet ball. So it's been absolutely fantastic. It's aged uh, really well. Um, it doesn't really even really look like it's about five years old. I say it's been all over the world, used hundreds and hundreds of times, still going strong. So I've been really impressed by the jet ball zip up until now. So. I'm gonna go and enjoy this cup of lemon and ginger tea. Uh, I'd love to know your thoughts. Who out there is using the jet bomb? I mean, it's pretty like a ubiquitous. It's probably one of the best gas cookers in my opinion. The only, the only place I've been in the army where I didn't take this uh, just to finish on is Norway, because in Norway in the winter time, it's just too cold. So the uh, 
propane mix in in the jet boil doesn't really once you go below freezing and, and certainly significantly below freezing the gases in here just don't really burn that well that's just the nature of uh, you know, propane butane so they use the naphtha uh, alcohol stoves i believe it's a form of alcohol i don't know naphtha anyway um, so that works out there that's the only place i didn't take it so if you're operating somewhere where the temperature is going to be significantly cold uh, sub-zero then you probably want a system or at least at least take a backup system with you and not rely on the jet ball. It's been an absolutely fantastic bit of kit. Really happy with the jet ball up until now. Hopefully get a few more years out of it. I say by not having the igniter on there, it just makes it simpler because the igniters tend to break. Anyway, anyway, that's my thoughts and opinions on the jet ball zip. Probably one of my favorite little bits of kit actually. Even take it out on walks with a girlfriend, take someone to take the cafetiere and some freshly ground coffee. We go out and make uh, teas and coffees on a nice little hike with the dogs. Uh, quite romantic, all that sort of stuff. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you liked it, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.